So, welcome to this little video about medieval letter folding and um, we're going to start to talk a bit about the paper and all that because paper was actually coming on strong in the middle ages um, and uh, it replaced parchment. Parchment is of course uh, made of sheep and uh, it is not cheap. <laughs> so, when you were buying uh, paper in the uh, late 13th century, you bought paper in stacks of uh, 480 and you bought parchment in stacks of four. So, uh, the paper was about seven and a half times cheaper than parchment. At the end of the 14th century, there was about uh, 30 paper mills in northern Italy. There was nine in Provence, and there was uh, a couple in Nuremberg. So by 13th, uh, 14th century, there was uh, paper that was used for the day-to-day -day communications, while parchment was used for more uh, of uh, diplomas and uh, contracts and other things that were supposed to hold better because this is not as water resistant. Paper in those days was made of linen, it was made of old shirts that were ground up and made into paper. If you were up in the Nordic countries, paper was very expensive to import, so you usually used runes and uh, just carved them on uh, sticks and then you sent them away. So, runes is of course specially designed for carving in uh, wood. That's why there are no horizontal lines in the runes. So, and runes was used all through the Middle Ages and probably very common among common folks. We can see this uh, because uh, there's a lot of gossip being spread by rune sticks and there are some scholars who think that uh, literacy with runes is about 80 percent which is very high for literacy in the middle ages so let's see here we have a letter that we want to send as you can see these are not the, the fine lettering of the manuscripts it's rather easy so Cut it. And now comes the folding. You fold it once, you fold it twice, and then you take this part and you stuff it into uh, the other part of the letter, like so. And the letter is folded. You can write the name of the recipient here and then you give it to a courier. Of course couriers could be either your servant that you send away with it or it could be one of the uh, designed couriers that the big merchant houses use. The Dauphini group they received and delivered about 320,000 letters in the years around 1400 and it was expected that uh, a courier could ride between Florence and Bruges in about 25 days which makes it about 50 kilometers a day in riding but if it was an express note the courier could ride about twice that much like 150 kilometers a day. So that's all I had with the letter folding for today. <laughs>